Boys, I I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned right now. I'm sitting here watching tennis, watching Wimbledon, which is phenomenal, absolute phenomenal thing to do. And uh, Roger Federer falls after being up two sets to Kevin Anderson? I mean, this is unbelievable. If I had $50 billion and you tell me, Broads, Roger Federer in Wimbledon is up two sets, how much money are you putting on him? I'm saying $50 billion. And he loses. He loses. I mean, it was a thriller. It, it's kind of terrible because I love watching Federer in white on Sundays it, late in the tournament, especially in the last final match. I mean, that's what you're. What's that's what it's all about. And he falls. I can't believe this is stunning. Back and forth action. Imagine being Kevin Anderson. Imagine being on the other side of this. Right. You have a, a, a game where you're down two sets to none. The first two against Roger Federer in Wimbledon. How do you have that mindset to keep fighting back? How? Now he's no joke of a player. He's ranked eight. I mean, good for him. God, God bless him. What a game. It was filled, filled with entertainment, back and forth action. At the end of the match when he lost, Federer was at the podium. He was saying, listen, I felt great the first and second. I felt great the first and second set. But after that, I, I didn't have a way to, to trick him. I didn't have any, any moves to get by him. And I'm thinking, Raj, 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 how? You're the best in the business. You're the GOAT. You're the LeBron James. How do you not have stuff to beat somebody like Kevin Anderson? But man, wow, maybe it's because he switched from Nike. He went to that other overseas, either it was from China or Japan or something like that. He switched sponsorships. Maybe that's why. You get the Nike curse. Should have stayed with it. But, oh, I am stunned. I'm absolutely stunned. And it, it changes the game here for Wimbledon. The doors have opened for other opponents to step in. And, and Kevin Anderson riding the high now. Maybe he gets an opportunity. I haven't gotten a chance to put out much for tennis on my channels. And it's just remarkable to watch. I love it. This, this match had me going... For 75 hours, it felt like. And it was the best 75 hours of my life. It was just amazing. And I, and I can't believe it. Stunned is an understatement when I just, what I just watched. I, I just can't get over it. Uh, it's blasphemy. It's insane. He, he, up two sets. The GOAT, up two sets. I mean, this is insanity that he ends up falling to Kevin Anderson. Now I'm sitting here watching Nadal. I love Nadal. He's one of my favorites. I mean, I love them all. I love the top dogs. There's nothing better than a Sunday where you got two top dogs. Djokovic, Federer. Djokovic, Nadal. Nadal, Federer. That's what you love to see on Sundays. And sadly, you know, with Federer getting knocked out, it opens the door for somebody new. It's just, it, I can't believe what just happened. I can't believe it. it. It just almost seems like a miracle. Roger Federer. Up two sets to none. That doesn't happen. What just happened doesn't happen. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And now that we're getting later into Wimbledon, it's getting a little more entertaining. It's tough to cover the first couple rounds because, you know, it's going to be blowouts. It's going to be three set victories. And now we're getting to the, the beautiful... Dominant players late in this in this run and it's going to be remarkable on top of that We still got Serena who's oh, the best. She's the best. She's one of my favorites, but wow I mean there it is Roger Federer false Can you tell I just Jaw dropping jaw dropping. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you next time